Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is it that your person wants to tell you but is afraid to do so. So we'll see if they're going ahead and keeping any secrets from you or holding anything back from you. It is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, um, you do have a fair bit of swords here, and swords are weapons, they can be, you know, used for both good and bad, they can be a bit of a destructive energy here, I also feel like your person is holding something back from you in, um, it can be a secret, but I feel like it's something that you deserve to know, because it might change the way you see them, it might change the light that you see them in, or it might even change your feelings for this person, or what you think of them, or you know, what you think of this whole situation here. I feel like it's it could be something to do with them about their past here. Um, it could have something to do, and it might not change how you perceive them in a negative light, okay? It just may mean you look at things differently or you see them differently um, and you might be more understanding of their behavior or you know their emotional patterns here I just feel like it will give you some perspective or it give you some clarity or even like more insight into who this person is and you know their upbringing here I feel like they have experienced a lot of pain in the past and I feel like they kind of internalized this pain I don't think this is someone who you know speaks about it they may have grew up in a bit of an unstable household or home they may have had previous relationships which have been very heartbreaking um, and which have been very painful and as a result I feel like because this person has never really dealt with the pain they've never really processed or confronted that pain I feel like they have a lot of emotional baggage and what they have this tendency to do is project some of that hurt or the insecurities or pain that they feel onto other people even onto yourself here um, I'm also seeing that they are a bit of a restless kind of energy so they do have I don't know that your person is ready for commitment and I feel like this is something that they're also afraid to share with you that's not to say that they don't want to settle down one day or that they don't want to settle down with you maybe just not right now or maybe they don't feel like they can give you that stability you know and that um, security that you want from out of a relationship but I feel like they're scared to communicate this with you because maybe they are scared to lose you or maybe they're scared that you might see them differently or maybe that means you know communicating something like that would open up the doors to the past and then they'd have to relive certain things and you know talk about certain things and they rather not because I feel like there are certain pain or hurt that is buried in this person's subconscious or deep down inside and I feel like it's something that they refuse to talk about I feel like this person has been cheated on in the past as well I feel like this is someone who has felt pain hurt rejection or betrayal dishonesty disloyalty in the relationship um, and I don't know that this is someone who's over the pain as well they may be over the ex but I don't think that this is someone who's over the um, lingering emotions that have stemmed from this previous relationship here I do feel like your person is invested emotionally but I feel like there are some blockages around their energy and I feel like this is someone who might benefit from seeking professional advice so maybe speaking to a counsellor or a therapist I feel like that would be a good start to this to their healing journey because I do get a, a strong sense of them needing to heal some past 
emotional wounds or pain or hurt here okay because if they don't it will forever tend to pop up and resurface here even at the most inconvenient of times um i do feel like maybe your person is also a little bit not certain about what they want with this connection or if they see a future um it just could be that they're a bit um in, like they're not a very stable energy this could it could be because this person fears commitment um, they could be like an, uh, someone who is an avoidant, someone who has an avoidant attachment style here. They could also be someone who has a tendency to self-sabotage, engage in self-sabotaging behavior. Um, I do feel like there are certain things about this person, about their past here, which um, I don't think they're sharing with you. Maybe because they don't feel ready to, maybe they don't feel comfortable to do that yet with you. But I definitely feel like there are certain things here that you will benefit from knowing. Okay, and you will know more about this person or more about the past. He, more about what they say, why they say what they say and why they do what they do here. There could be someone else around your person. I don't know if this is an ex that your person is still talking to or communicating with. Um, I don't know if they feel like they still have feelings for this ex or if there is someone else that they're romantically involved with and maybe this person is undecided between you and that person. It could also be that your person isn't necessarily taking this connection seriously and that the two of you are on different wavelengths and uh, just at different pages and instead of being honest with you, this person might be stringing you along a little bit or leading you on. They do, I mean, they're very attracted to you from what I can tell. And, and I feel like they do have feelings for you. But I feel like they don't always show it or it's very hard for you to read. You might not, they might not make it so obvious here that they're interested or they're romantically, emotionally involved. Because I feel like they kind of have this, they wear this heavy emotional armor and they kind of embody this King of Swords energy where you know, he's not very mushy. He's someone who can be very blunt and straight to the point here. They have certain emotional baggage which needs to be looked at and released. I feel like there's still some sort of ties or connections to the past and it's only weighing them down in a very um, negative kind of way. It's holding them back. And maybe this person isn't over the ex or they're not over the hurt and the pain that stemmed from a previous relationship. And maybe this is just recent. It might just be a fresh and raw emotional wound. And maybe this is, I wouldn't say it's a, like, it's not a rebound relationship, but it kind of feels like it. Maybe they still have a lot of healing to do, but instead they have jumped into this relationship with you. Not to avoid this healing process. Well, maybe it's a little bit of that, but I feel like it's, yeah, they do like and they are attracted to you. But I feel like it's a case of the right person at the wrong time, because I feel like your person has... You know they have some work to do they have some baggage some emotional baggage to release and uh, let loose here all right guys so these are your messages so thank you as always for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now